Dozens of businesses along a busy stretch of Jefferson Boulevard remained closed for the second day in a row without power again after Monday's storm. Owners and employees had to be kind of resourceful. Fox 55's Brianna Bias talked to one restaurant that took takeout literally and another business that's managing to keep their doors open. Just a few days ago, these shopping center lots were filled with cars, but now the only thing parked outside stores are fallen trees. It's been total darkness there. This three mile stretch of Jefferson Boulevard has been without power for two days and Leslie Carvalho doesn't expect it to come back until Thursday night. He's worked at Taj Mahal in Fort Wayne for almost 18 years, so he's seen power outages before. Not like this, but uh, we had a winter storm, but the power went off, but it came back again very soon, but not like this. The power went out during the hottest week of the year, so the Taj Mahal staff had to move fast to keep the food from spoiling, taking food home and storing it in their personal refrigerators. Yeah, it was uh, pretty much hard, but uh, we did it. Uh, all our employees, uh, the owners came and we moved it uh, quickly as soon as possible. He says, everything will be okay. As soon as the power comes back on. And while all of the other businesses on this end of Jefferson Boulevard have had to close until the power comes back on, Indiana Physical Therapy got a little creative and managed to keep their doors open. We made the decision to um, fully enact our emergency action plan and get our generators in place. CEO John Smith says they've had the plan in place for years, but they've never had to use the backup generators this long before. People cannot just take a vacation from their physical therapy, so we need to do everything within our powers to provide those services. And until the power comes back on and businesses all over Southwest reopen, he says his team will keep the doors open and the fans running. In Fort Wayne, I'm Brianna Bias, Fox 55 News. Lutheran Health Network locations on Jefferson Boulevard also closed all of their buildings except their main hospital. But earlier this evening, we did observe some businesses along that stretch with their lights on.